Okay, people, listen. Listen closely. Arachnophobia is real, okay? And those who know me know that I have a tremendous, humongous, you can't get any bigger than that, fear of spiders, okay? Okay. Oh, is my face red? Um, I hate spiders. And I've got some stories for you. I got some stories for you today. Okay, first one, this morning, this morning, bless, this morning, I woke up and I had a text message. Okay, I had a text message. I usually, I, I usually don't respond this fast. I only respond this fast, this fat, I can't talk, this fast to like special people. So, I got a text message. And it was like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, what? And then apparently the photo was like loading and he sent me a photo of a big, big, huge spider. Like the really big ones, like the ginormous ones. And I swear I almost dropped my phone. I um, And I have done that before. I tell people my fear is so big that like it could be fake. It could be stuffed. It could be plastic. It could be rubber. Rubber's worse. Oh my gosh, that's worse. That is worse. It could be rubber. It didn't, it didn't matter. If it's in a form of a spider, I'm gonna freak out. And like, cause I like, like example, one time I was scrolling through Facebook, okay? Scrolling through Facebook, okay? Scrolling, and I see this very, as some of you may know it, it's like a, it's like a video of this, this tarantula. This guy has a, a pet tarantula, and it's it's on sand and stuff, and he's like voice overing it, and he's going, I'ma hide from you, I'ma hide from you, but you can see me. And if you can see me, then I can see you. And if I can see you, you can see me, and all that stuff. Okay, I'm scrolling through, and I see this video, okay? And I swear I dropped my phone. I dropped, it freaked me out, and I do not know. Uh-uh. So, back to the story, back on track, Jack. He sent me this picture of the spider, and I'm freaking out, okay? And when I'm freaking out, phase one is I twitch. I like do this really, 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 really weird twitching thing, and I become paranoid because I'm still experiencing this phase one right now. It's just, uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh my god, I did this on camera. <sighs> and then I catch my breath as phase two. <laughs> phase two. You are witnessing phase two right now. I'm just like, it's like the mind of, and then yeah, and then phase three is usually I go completely numb and I'm like dead. But that was my first story. I wasn't that interesting. But second story, okay, second story. I'm a hard person to scare, and this is very true. I, I'm very hard to scare because as a kid, I had so many friends who would scare me and all that stuff. So I became more aware of my surroundings and noises. Like I can hear certain things. And usually I can just catch someone before they like jump. Like I'm just not, I'm a hard person to scare. And with my fear of spiders, I've actually, I've never had someone actually try this. It was the first time I was at Walmart with some friends and um, we're sitting on his car, chilling, you know, just chilling, sharing stories, you know, all this stuff. And I just mentioned that I was a very hard person to scare. And my friend goes, yeah, sure. And little did I know, just because nobody's ever tried this technique before, is she goes, Emily, and I go, what? And she goes, Emily, there's a spider <gasps> on your thigh or on my leg. I forget what she said. On my leg. And I froze. And then my breathing, I was like, <laughs> and I started spazzing out. And then like, I was trying, I was like, look, and I was like, where is this spider? Where is it? Where is this spider? And she literally, she just stopped. She looked at me and she burst out laughing. And I'm just like, that was not funny, but she did get me. She did get me. And then um, she also later on showed me a picture of a, a very good detailed picture of a tarantula and I almost fell off his car. I almost fell off my friend's car. I almost fell off and face planted on the concrete and that would have, wouldn't have been pretty. Yeah, that's, that's, that's when you, when you catch me by surprise, I skip to like phase four and phase four is spaz jump. <laughs> it's like a spider leap. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> I jump and I lose my crap. <sighs> But yep, yeah, that's story three. But like to give you some history and some background on these, this spider phobia is as a kid, um, as a kid, I had nightmares. I had nightmares and scary dreams about spiders. And I was a very messy little girl, very little messy girl. And if you know anything about spiders, they, they're drawn to messes. So I was a messy girl. So I would like have toys all over my floor and stuff. And when the light would go off, um, and I would wake up from a nightmare or something. My mind would play tricks with me. And the little blobs, which were toys on my floor, my mind would like tell me, 
would be like I, it would make it into like spiders and then I'd have these like weird like illusions of like big big spiders coming after me and then I'd freak out I'd be screaming like my parents have stories heck my grandparents my grandparent even has stories of them sending me home because Emily was having a panic attack about spiders and they had no idea what to do so yeah I've had it I've had I have a bad history with spiders I don't like them. I don't play with them. You don't know. No, 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 no. Do not, I do not like spiders. I hate them with a boiling passion. I have no compassion for spiders whatsoever. They deserve nothing but death and destruction. Nope. And I've killed spiders in very unique creative forms. I poisoned spiders. I lit one on fire once. And I've, 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 I'm not a believer in squishing. I have done it before, but I'm not a believer in squishing. Mostly because the spider remains. <laughs> the spider remains will be on the bottom of my foot. And I'm like, no. Like, it's, even though it's dead, it's on me. And I'm like, uh-uh. No way, Jose. I'm not going to do this. Not today. And so... I just, I'm not plus guts and all that. I don't like guts and all that. Even with like scary movies. That's why I like, I love scary movies. I like thrillers. I like mysteries. I like all that. But I don't do guts. And I don't do blood and guts and all that. I don't do that. That's my, honestly my line, my my thing with scary movies. Because some people are like, oh, you just don't like them because of all the jumping and the scariness. Like, I know I, I enjoy the thrill. I enjoy it. And the cinematography in most scary movies are usually pretty good. So I enjoy scary movies. I just don't like guts and blood and like his arms off and it's flopping everywhere no i do not like that at all so i went to a british accent what the heck um, um so spider guts no i don't do guts i don't do that guts so i don't believe in squishing so i poison them i've poisoned with hairspray i poison name any kind of chemical cleaning chemical anything even like i, I love just like the worst chemical out there even but i've even killed with a bug killer, bug killer, insect killer, or whatever it is, which is, you know, obviously their worst enemy. And I even, this is how evil I am towards them. I even enjoy watching them die. I'm like, <laughs> you little turd. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Bless. Wow. And I also bless myself in my videos and then when I talk in general. I, my friends know this. I bless myself because I make fun of myself. I like to roast myself. That's the only kind of humor I have right now is just roasting myself, which I don't mind that. I know I can be dumb. I know I can be annoying. I know I can be stupid. I know I can be a blonde. Heck, I was born a blonde. I've had people ask, hey, were you actually born a blonde? Yes, I was born a blonde. Blonde hair, blue eyes. That was me. Yep, and then it just got darker as I got older. But, yeah, long story short, spiders are dangerous. Arachnophobia is real, people. You don't play with that. No. No, that, that, you caused me to spell, you caused me to fall off a car, you caused me to fall off a bridge, to fall off the thumb, you caused me to have a panic attack. Emily does not like having panic attacks. Who would like having a panic attack? Because I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I can't do this, I can't do this, my heart is racing. Even fake spiders, like my friend grabbed a fake spider at Target and decided, it was my, not my friend, it was more like my little sister, I remember fully now, it was my little sister, she grabbed a fake spider while we were at Target, okay, and she decides to chase me with it, she thinks, oh, she's being funny, she's being goofy, no, I was legitimately like, heck no, I know it's a, it could be fuzzy, it could be all cute and like pink or like whatever, I'm not going to do that, it's a spider, a spider is a spider, a spider is a spider, a spider, a spider, mm -mm. Emily do not do that, the smaller they are, the more like braver I am with them like I will well because it's simple with a small spider it's super simple it's just like hello here's my foot hello here I can squish you like I'll actually get somewhat closer to a smaller spider because I'll taunt it and be like you ain't got crap on me you ain't got nothing against me I can get you I am over you ha <laughs> ha I am the queen the queen over the spider I conquer you you ain't got crap on me no I will defeat you, and you will be terribly dead. Okay, I'm done. I think I'm done with my vending. I hope this makes sense. Video two. Oh, I'm pretty consistent. I was going to make a podcast, but uh, I was like, people... Uh, I will be making podcasts soon. Podcast. Podcast. I can't talk. It's like, I just woke up, and it's like, it's 12.08, Emily. You should be awake by now. So, happy Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. The weekend is here. First weekend of November. Bless all of you. Please. Don't send me spiders.